holidays right around the corner, too. We want to gather and we want to have fun, but safely. Absolutely. This morning, Erie News Now's Megan Selensky, with all that in mind, uh, talks with uh, epidemiologist and Erie News Now contributor Dr. Becky Dawson for some tips on safely gathering for the holidays. Dr. Dawson, I'm bringing you on this morning just to chat a little bit about some more public health safety awareness and what we should be keeping in mind as we gather for the holidays. Yeah, so first and foremost, I think the most important thing everyone can do at this point in time is make agreements with everyone that you're celebrating with that no, will sh no one will show up sick. Um, if everyone would agree to be healthy when we gather, we would prevent a lot of spread of disease. So that means if someone wakes up with a sore throat, we postpone the celebration, you know, to another time or we agree that we'll celebrate differently. So that's first and foremost. Second thing that's most important at this point in time is wash your hands. So before dinner, before you're preparing food, before anything, um, it's really important to wash your hands. And I think also my, it's kind of cheesy, but, you know, eat your food with a fork, not your finger. And that includes like chips and snack foods that we all like to stick our fingers into but really trying hard not to do that because we pass germs around, you know, by what's on our hands. So stay home if you're sick, forks, not fingers, wash those hands. I think those things would prevent a lot of the disease that we're seeing right now. And when we talk about trying to prevent diseases, one of those things we talk about is vaccines. And we are so close to the holiday. Are, should people go out and get them? Will it work if we get it now right before the holidays? So if you went out like, Right away, um, at this point in time, you know, you probably would have a little bit of protection by New Year's, but, you know, you do need 10 to 14 days for that vaccine to kind of like kick in. So we're kind of coming up against that deadline where it probably won't be super effective, but there still is benefit because we know that, you know, flu, COVID, RSV, if you're eligible for that vaccine, those disease like seasons go on until March. So getting the vaccine is always a good idea. Whether you're going to have protection for the holidays really depends on when you get those vaccines.